Whoa, this is a good one. Good day, everyone. Another beautiful morning here in the Republic of Western Australia under President McGowan, just the way we like it. But uh, what a magic morning! Nice and calm, bit of cloud cover. The wind is forecast, so I don't know how long I'll be out there, but I'm on my way to my favourite whiting spot. Hopefully, pick up a squid or two while I'm at it. Anyway. Let's go. Let's get stuck in. Ugh. Snag. Hey, that snag I've got. It's not a snag. What is it? That's a a pike or a snook. Oh, how cool is that? Snook, I think it is. That's, that's awesome, but they got. <laughs> boy, have they got teeth. So, a lot of people don't like these things, but um, I've got no problem keeping one of these and I'll smoke it. Just keep my hands clear of his teeth, though. And they've got to be 30. No problem there. Oh, nearly lost it. Cool. That's a good start to the day. Stinky old pike or snook. Awesome. Alright, we're in the whiting spot. Sun's just peeping its head over the horizon. Let's uh let's see if I can catch a fish. I'm getting plenty of fish, but they're all pickers. They're all um, they're all butterfish, unfortunately. But, uh, anyway, I'll keep trying. If I can't find a whiting, I might just uh, go and chase a squid or two. I'm just being plagued by pickers here. This will be a butterfish. Yeah, butterfish. So, I think I'm going to stop wasting baits. Just uh, put a jig out, see if I can't find one of those big winter squid. Uh, yeah, dropping baits isn't really working for me. Alright, this is a good one. I thought I was snagged up there, but the weight just loaded right up. And this is a good squid. Let's get it in, have a look, take a photo. Your beauty. There it is on the surface. Good one, really good one. It's going to be around the 20 centimetre hood kind of range. Where's my net? Good squid, really good squid. You beauty. What a ripper. Here he goes, flaring up, having a spit. Awesome. So, uh, let's measure him. Let's see what he's worth. It's a 22 centimetre hood. You ripper. Oh, well, let's see if we can't get another one. 
Yep, there we go. I think there's another one on there. Didn't realise he's hooked yet. Yep, there he goes. Looks like another good one too. And uh, there's a bit of rain over there. So, I might not be out here much longer, but if I get a couple of good squid in the bucket, plus that snook I got earlier, that's, that's a pretty good feed. Right, let's get him in first. There he is. Nice. Not quite as big as the first one. But still pretty reasonable. Yeah, not quite as big, but uh, still pretty good. Awesome. All right, here's the smaller one. Yeah, not quite as big as the other ones, this one. Let's get him in the net. Oh, I've only just got him. Oh, look at that. Just got him by one candle. Let's get the net behind him. It's only a little one. Awesome. Yep, there's one. There's another one. Doesn't realise he's hooked just yet. A little bit bigger than the, the last one. Still don't realise he's hooked. Unless I've got a bit of weed. Yeah, it might just be a snag. No, it's a squid. And he's not actually hooked. He's just hanging onto the jig. See that? He's not actually hooked so if I'm if I'm lucky I'll be able to get a oh there you go now he's hooked <laughs> sorry Cobb you're hooked so that right on the head there you ripper yeah he wasn't actually hooked when I brought him to the boat he was sort of hanging on to the jig about there Deep fried squid today. Might have that for lunch actually. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how far away that rain is, but it's. I'll keep putting the jig out until I go in, but yeah, I'm heading in now, so if I don't get another one, see you when I start cooking squid. Okay, so here's this morning's catch. I'm just about to clean them up. And um, yeah, a little bit later we'll fire up the barbie and have deep fried squid and snook. Probably only need a couple of the squid. I won't use all of it, but um, anyway, we'll get cooking soon. Very productive morning on the water. All right, good day again. So this is the fish and squid. That's the snook. And I kept the two smaller squid for lunch and the wings off the bigger squid. And all I'm going to do, I might just uh, cut these ones down a little so they're not quite so big. That's the wings. Cut the fillets in half. And uh, I've made a batter here. I'm just going to chuck it all straight in the batter. It 
it's a bit of salt and pepper in there as well for a bit of flavoring and I've got the deep fryer that'll be just about ready and it's a pretty simple case of chuck them in Don't worry, pup, you'll get some. There's a nice bit of fish. Get that in there. One more. We'll let the deep fryer do its thing. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get the uh, get the first little batch out. I think that's part of the the snook. Squid wing. All right, next batch. Let's get it in there. The second batch is ready, let's get it out. Hop. Get the oil out of the way so the dog doesn't jump up and tip it all over itself. All right. Some salt. Pepper. Got some lemon wedges. There we go. Nice feed of uh, fish and squid for my lunch. Great stuff. So let's find a bit of the um, of the snook. That looks like a bit right there. All right, so let's get a bit of the snook. A lot of people don't like snook, but uh, I think, like most fish. Caught fresh, cooked straight away, cooked simply, it's going to be good. Look how it's nice and white, that meat. Let's break a bit open. Nice white meat. Let's have a go. Yeah, it's good. It is a strong fishy taste, so if you're not really into fishy fish, probably not for you, but I like it. Great stuff. Oh, hot though. Let's get some squid. So that's a bit of a wing. Well, oh, good. Really good. Let's see if my helpers like it. Bet. Rosie. Yep, it's a hit. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to eat all that for lunch. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
tight lines. See you next time.